What's up, everybody? It's Greg Daly from PortableReview.net, and I'm here with Pixel Lines DX. Today, I'm going to go through the how to play and the puzzle mode. For how to play, the object of the game is to connect the dots of the same color and the same number by drawing a line from one to the other. You can use the touchscreen or the D pad. You can also use the A button, as this tells you to only use the ZL or ZR. If you grab the line and move it one, two, three, four. And we got a little worm. Now, here we're going to delete this previous line. I'm going to double click it, double tap it, and we're going to zigzag over to the six. And we got a fat worm. So here they're they're telling us how to move around the screen. And you can zoom around with the L button or the R button. You don't really need it in these smaller ones, but in the bigger ones it comes in handy. Zoom in and out with X and Y. And now they're going to tell us to finish this puzzle, but that doesn't give you a real idea of how the game goes, so I'm going to go over to puzzle mode. In puzzle mode, there are uh, quite a few number of puzzles. This includes all of the puzzle packs from the mobile version up to date. Uh, Randy Frog wanted me to let you know that the game costs $14.99 on the Nintendo Switch and if you were to buy all of the puzzle packs on the uh, mobile version it would cost you the same amount. The Nintendo Switch version will include all future updates for free as well. Here we're going to select Pets so 22 by 22 and you can see that the ones are already done for you and we're going to go around the stage trying to figure out like if there's any unique colors such as this 5 right here on the right this one it can't go any other way so we're going to connect the dots then we're going to do a few 2's and 3's around the stage uh, call it a stage I guess it's more of a puzzle uh, if you notice, I will miss quite a few of these twos and threes. Uh, it's really easy to do because your eyes just don't see them right off the bat. Uh, this three can't go any other way except for right here. However, there are a few that uh, they, they do have other options. Like this three can only go that way and this three can only go that way. As you can see here, there's four and five. There's no other way for them to connect. Connect some of these twos. And the same way I go for this, uh, this 11 here. So we can do that, round out that corner. Looks good. Four. Nine. Oh. No. no, something's wrong. This eight can't connect. So we have nine. Uh, now we don't have enough room for the nine, so something's wrong with the eleven. Let's get rid of that. Connect this nine. Good. No. Let's go off the left. Huh. Right here. End log. Uh, another reason why you want to play this with touch screen. Oh. Let's go for this, this seven right here. Four. 
we'll see about this seven put it on the rim. Well, this nine should it should connect just right here. Oh no, there's no way. Let's go under. Yeah, it looks a little better. We can go around with this eleven, ten, eleven. And this five, dunk it. Zigzag for the eight. Draw their eight zigzag here. Bingo. Straight down with the six. A little loop with the seven. A little loop with the six. Yeah. Zigzag with the eleven. As you can see, it's all coming together. Uh, if you look at the top left corner, you can see the picture that we're making. It looks like it's it's a bird with a macaw. Uh, yep, I know birds. I actually, I grew up with a cockatiel. Quite a few cockatiels, actually. Um, that is until I had a ferret and he decided that my cockatiel was a plaything. Needless to say, that did not turn out too well for my cockatiel at the time. Uh, interesting story, my cockatiel's name was Stupid because he was a replacement for my old cockatiel who died. She got egg bombed and I, was, I didn't want a new one. But my mom thought I should have one. So I named him Stupid, like any little kid would. But I had that cockatiel for a very long time. Uh, you can see here that I completely messed up on this thing's beak here. And once you know the picture, it becomes a lot easier. Uh, we're going to zigzag with these 11s. We're going to do another up and around zigzag for this 11. We'll go down and around for this 9. Just We'll zig with the five. Go for this eight. Yeah. And now everything seems to be just kind of straightforward at this point. And a lot of these puzzles end up being like this. You see, I missed that set of twos up there. Uh, it's really easy to do. So we're almost done on the home stretch. I'm just going to fill in these threes. I can't believe I missed these threes, too. And this 10 is going to take up the whole right corner. Yep, got it. Let's zigzag with the 8. No, I can't do the 11 like that. So, let's try this. Zig, zag, yeah. Alright, we're totally going to be able to do this now down and in. We're going to go up, around, and down for the 7. And this 9 is a little complex here. Hope I got the right one. And it looks like I did. Another set of 2's I missed. Do this 5 here. I think the 7 goes this way. And yeah, uh, that's nice. doing? Yeah, maybe. And what am I doing? Alright. I can't count to ten. Go back. Go back. Go. I'm just trying to go back. This, this analog is not working for me. I'm a, I'm a D-pad guy and never, never really connected with the I think we just got three more here. Yep, we got the seven and nine. Do a little zig with the seven. And open up. <laughs> okay, that right there happens every time you finish a stage, and it makes no sense. Like the the children, they, they don't they don't pertain to anything in the game. Maybe, maybe kids like to hear themselves scream. I'm not a fan, but uh, 
I'm going to go down to this, this larger puzzle here, and I'm going to show you how difficult some of them can be. As you see here, I've got most of it finished. Uh, I'm not entirely sure about these threes, but the twos can't go any other way. I'm hoping that they're right, because there'll be a lot less to undo later. And you see I got a lot of this, and I'm, I'm zoomed out as far as you can go. <sighs> right here, this 10, been a thorn in my side for the last hour. I know I'm wrong with some of that stuff. This 12 seems to be right, so it's got to be this 9, 8, 10, something. I'll fix it later. And there you have it. That's that's this uh, stage, this puzzle. Let's go down here and, and try this. Uh, let's delete some of these. Let's just give it a shot. Right there, I was trying to go back again. Uh, let's go down and around with the 9. And this 10. And holy shit, I think I might have figured it out. I think I might have figured it out. Indeed. And it's done down here. Brilliant. Wow, that's great. You have no idea how, how good it feels to have that finished. Now I just got to finish the sky over here, and uh, hopefully that's right. There you have it guys, that's Pixel Lines DX for the Nintendo Switch. If you're considering picking it up, I highly recommend checking it out on your cell phone or other smart device first. And if it's something that you like and might consider buying puzzle packs for, Maybe consider buying it for the Switch and get everything included, as I said before. So, one thing I forgot is the audio. I did not have the music on for this entire thing because, frankly, the music has been driving me insane. There's one track on repeat over and over and over again. Uh, it doesn't change for anything. It doesn't change for your different puzzle modes. It doesn't change for story mode. It doesn't change for individual puzzle themes. Nothing. It is always the same track on repeat. Uh, here, I'm gonna I'm gonna open up a new puzzle and I'm gonna show you guys the options because I forgot to show you a couple things. So here we go. Let's just select this this one right here next to golf and press the plus button options and get ready for it guys here comes that epic background music so yeah that over and over and over and over again ad nauseum. Yeah, that's the main reason why I didn't include the recording. And here we have colorblind mode. There are three different modes, presumably for three different types of colorblindness. I'm not going to act like I know what I'm talking about with this, so I'm just going to show you what they look like so you can see for yourselves. I can't really tell too much of a difference between the first two. It's just a slight difference in the color shadings. They're both more muted than the default colors. While the third one seems like it's a very high contrast. As you'll see here. Yes. 
not sure, sure what's up with the colors when I scroll off screen. I'm not sure if that's a glitch or what, but yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a glitch. So anyways, guys, I'm Greg Daly. This is Border War Review. Thanks for watching.